Welcome to our live training session number 25. We're going to be tuning a turbocharged Mazda Miata using a Mega Squirt 3 standalone system. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It's going to have a bone stock 1.6 engine that's original to the vehicle. It has a custom turbo kit using a GT 25R size turbo, a 3 inch turbo back exhaust. On the fuel system side of things, it has Flow Force 640cc drop in injectors, it has an upgraded fuel pump an AEM wideband, a three port boost solenoid, and again, we're gonna be tuning this using a Mega Squirt 3 standalone system on 93 octane. We're gonna have a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into our first video here so we can create our base map to get our engine fired up and get it running. Welcome to our live training session here with our turbocharged Mazda Miata. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Tuner Studio software so we can begin creating our base calibration file. So moving into our software, we're going to go here to create new project. This is going to be where we create a folder specific for the vehicle or the Mega Squirt box we're working with. So if we have two Miatas, we want to designate two different folders. So we're not going to be confusing them and having our calibrations or data logs mixed up. This will be a centralized point for that project or vehicle you're working with. So we're going to go here to create new project. We're going to go to project name and we can name it a custom name. I'll leave it on my car, which is the generic name right now. It's not going to really matter for this training video, but if you are going to tune several different cars or have several different projects with different mega squirts, you're going to go in and definitely want to name a custom name here. It's going to be naming your folder or project. Now the project directory, we're going to go uh, leave it on the default, which is going to be under my name and documents. That's going to be where we're going to find this particular file if we're searching for it on our laptop. The firmware, we're going to go here to detect. We need to figure out what firmware we're working with, and we'll make sure that this particular version of the Tuner Studio is going to be compatible. If it's not, it's going to be able to go in and download on its own online to be able to get that specific firmware that it needs to work with the box that you have here. So let's go to detect. It's going to be looking for the COM port that I have it plugged into my laptop. Now I do have my vehicle keyed on. The engine is off right now. You can see it's found the COM port at 16 and it's found my actual uh, firmware of uh, MS3 1.51 release. So let's go here to accept. And then the next step here is go down to the bottom and click next. Now we could go to the project description and give it some kind of a description. I'm not going to do that for right now. It's not important, but you have the ability to do that to list maybe some mods uh, or some very specific information, such as maybe your base fuel pressure or cam gear settings or spark plug gap. That might be something that you are going to be forgetting a later point in time. You can go right back to your project directory here in the project description, description and figure out what kind of details uh, you had for that vehicle. Oh, so right now I'll leave that alone. Let's click next. We'll leave all of our settings here, the default settings. We don't need to do anything with these. Click next. And then it's going to be asking us here or telling us that it's going to be testing the port. It did it successfully. So it knows everything works right here. We don't have any issues with communications between our box and our laptop. Let's click next. And we're going to move in here and select a dashboard. Now we went over custom making dashboards in our training course. Right now I'm going to be using my default my car. We see we have some other choices here and uh, we'll just select this, this My Car. It's going to give me the most amount of information to work with for this application here. So click Finish. And now it's going to connect to the Mega Squirt box. Now, a couple things here. This Miata actually has some kind of a tune on it. It runs, doesn't run particularly well, uh, which is going to be, uh, what we're going to be doing here is going in and basically rewriting the entire tune and going through the tuning process. So um, we're going to go through and some of the information here is going to be set up already in here because it is a car that's up and running. So it's not going to be a completely fresh install, but we are still going to be treating it and going treating it as a fresh install.